This video looks at the dry needling technique for the gastrocnemius muscle. With tibial nerve innervation S1 to S2, the gastrocnemius trigger points are known to refer locally, with the medial trigger points referring to the lower portion of the posterior thigh, the medial aspect of the calf, and down into the sole of the foot. With the patient in a prone position and bolstered supported slight knee bend, a thorough palpation is required. Due to anatomical variations in and around the popliteal fossa, this is especially important when needling the upper portions of the gastrocnemius. The trigger points of the proximal medial head lay between the tibial nerve and popliteal vessels and the tendons of the medial hamstring and should be needled in an anterior medial direction. Conversely, the lateral trigger points lay between the tibial nerve and perineal nerve that runs close to the biceps femoris tendon. This should be needled in an anterior and slightly lateral direction. The medial trigger points in the central part of the muscle belly can be located and held with a pincer grip palpation and needled in a slightly medial anterior direction. For the trigger points in the central lateral head, flat palpation can be used to locate the trigger points and torque bands. The needle can then be inserted in a posterior anterior direction. When needling either of these central muscle heads, the needle should be angulated in a medial or lateral direction away from the midline to avoid the medial serial cutaneous nerve which descends between the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle.